Today we're going to work through a three-month prone exercise. This is focusing on communicating well between your upper back, neck, and shoulder girdle. So to start, we're going to get down onto our belly. Now with this position, your feet can be up or down, whatever is more comfortable for you. Arms are going to be up above your head. We're going to put our hands into a little bit more of a triangle kind of a shape. And from that point, just let them rest on the ground. There shouldn't be much pressure at all going through them. Now, our first movement in this exercise is going to be chin flexion. We want to tuck our chin and lift our head up using our deep neck flexors. So we're going to imagine that you're squeezing an orange between your chin and your chest. And you're going to hold that for the entirety of this exercise. So that's what that looks like. Now, once we have that locked in and you feel that tension, but not pain, the back of the neck and the deep neck flexors themselves, we're going to move into sternum raising off the ground. Now, in order to get our sternum or our chest plate off the ground, we want to make sure that we're not cheating through other muscles. We're using our upper back. Okay, so we don't want to do what lots of people commonly will do, which is pull through the elbows using our lats. We also don't want to use our lower back erectors or those muscles. So we want to lift from our mid upper back. So again, chin is tucked, lifting the sternum up, and also making sure that we're not just shrugging through our shoulders to lift up. That's a nice easy cheat, it makes this exercise quite easy, but you don't get the results that you're looking for. As mentioned, a common cheat here too, is to lift up entirely from these lower back erectors. If you feel tension through there, you're having a hard time shutting them off, don't worry, that's a common thing. What I'm going to advise you to do is actually tilt your pelvis backwards. That's going to bring your pubic bone into the ground. And it's going to kind of force those lower back erectors to shut off, leaving them a little bit helpless in this exercise. Okay, so this is what that looks like in real time. Now, in that exercise, we're going to hold for about 10 deep breaths focusing on the deep belly breaths for about 30 seconds worth of breathing. Have fun.